tighten up. We in the building. Let's talk about this Amber Geiger case and these hugs. And let's discuss whether or not black people are finally going completely crazy. If you don't know who Amber Geiger is, she's a Dallas uh, police officer, a white female who claims she mistook uh, her victim, Botham Jean's apartment for her own, despite the fact that there's a big red welcome mat at the front door, which she didn't own. There's an ottoman inside this apartment, which she should have known, obviously, that she didn't own. She ended up killing this man with her police issue weapon after doing a 13 hour shift. Um, 911 calls, you can hear her repeatedly say, I thought it was my apartment. I thought it was my apartment. In the beginning, there was some speculation as to whether or not. Uh, these two knew each other. I I'll be honest, I have not gotten into every single page uh, or transcript that was released in this particular case. I know what I've seen on the news, okay? What I do know is that she was convicted of murder. And oh, happy day when that happened, right? Because you never see a white officer convicted of killing an um, unarmed black man. Not only did she get convicted of killing this gentleman, uh, Botham Jean, she was convicted of murder by a jury of her peers. Without knowing the entire racial, racial makeup of the jury, I can tell you that there was five African Americans and four Hispanics on that jury. Uh, so when we saw the verdict come down guilty on murder, in some small way, as an African-American, you want to celebrate that justice has finally worked out in our favor. But we should have seen this coming because, what, the very next day, the sentence comes down from the same jury. Because in Texas, I guess, you can have the jury not only uh, deliberate and hit you with the punishment or a conviction, but also the punishment. And this jury came back and said, for murder, we're going to give her 10 years for murder. So I read what the murder statute said in Texas, and it is the intentional killing of another human being with forethought and malice, meaning you meant to do that. So this jury convicted her of intentionally killing this gentleman inside his own home. And the same jury came back and decided that 10 years was enough punishment for taking a human life. And I'm not even done. I can talk about that 10 years all day, but that's not why I'm here today. I'm here to talk about insult to injury. I'm talking about a bailiff who went to console Amber Geiger, the murderer, by rubbing her hair. I'm talking about the brother, who I really don't want to get too deep on the brother because I understand he went and he gave her a hug. I found that to be a bit disconcerting. But the family is a Christian family, and they truly believe in forgiveness. It's amazing how people that look like us always have to be the ones to offer forgiveness. But that's what happened in this case. Not saying I liked it, but I can't go hard on a guy who's mourning the loss of his brother. But the judge in this case, the African-American judge in this case, and it would not matter if she was African-American, Hispanic, white, Asian came and gave this convicted murderer a hug. Listen, so if I got convicted of murder, my big black ass in the courtroom just got convicted of murder. Does anybody think that a judge would come off the bench and come give me a hug? Look, when Amber Geiger hugged the victim's brother, he asked, can I please hug her? He got off the stand. He starts walking towards her. She meets him, Amber Geiger, the murderer, meets him halfway in the middle of the courtroom. 
he getting up from tables in the courtroom, walking around free, a murderer. Do you think that if I was convicted of murder, I would be free to walk around a courtroom? Shit, they would have had me chained to the floor to make sure I didn't present a problem or endanger anybody physically. After all, I would be a convicted murderer, but not this convicted murderer, not this petite blonde hair person that doesn't look like me. She gets to walk around the courtroom and, and get hugs from everybody. And I'm not so upset about the act of forgiveness, but let's look at the totality of facts associated with this case. Not only did she murder this man in his own home while he was apparently eating ice cream on the couch, but according to people who testified in the trial, she failed to render aid to this individual. And how did they know that he had, she had no blood on her uniform or the clothes she was wearing. She had no blood on her gloves. She didn't use her medical gloves, her plastic gloves to administer any kind of aid to this man. She let him die in that apartment. Then they uncovered the text messages when she was working patrol for a parade and she was texting with other white officers who thought it was funny to joke about the death of Martin Luther King during the Martin Luther King Day festivities and remarked that when one officer texted her, oh, I had to work with these five black guys, and she texts back, well, I can tell the difference in the work ethic. She don't like black people. She has malice in her heart. We have already an inherent bias against people of the African-American community. So that when you put that m the murder in context with those uh, extra facts that point to her racism, or at least her racist attitudes, why are all of these black people in such a rush to forgive this person who haven't even done one day in jail? And who already got her gift when she was only given 10 years. So let me commit a murder or let me get convicted of a murder. You think I'm gonna get 10 years for a murder? So black people, are we too quick to forgive or better yet, have we lost our damn mind? The, the brother who went to hug Amber Geiger, the murderer, you think if you was in some kind of distress somewhere, she would give a damn about you, brother? And I am all for forgiveness. But not in this particular case, not now. Let her serve her time. We got to quit caping for these racists. We got to let them suffer. I want to see true remorse before I offer my unconditional forgiveness. And yes, black people, y'all done lost y'all mind. Because the same thing is going to happen again. And the blue wall is going to line up. Listen. Do you think if Botham Jean had had an ounce of weed in his system, she would even have got convicted? That's all you would have heard. There was weed found in the system, as if that would be an excuse to murder somebody. And this is the playbook they're going to continue to use when they murder one of us. They're going to find anything disparaging from our past or find any way to obstruct the investigation, to withhold evidence to protect their own, which they usually are successful in doing. Again, I'm shocked that she got convicted. But the 10 years was a slap in the face and all this hugging of murderers walking around free in courtroom. America, you showing us what you're really made of. And you don't have to be right to do something stupidly racist. Y'all done forgot who you are running around here hugging murderers in open court. Black folks, let's get it together 
if you like the content so far subscribe to this channel right now for more discussion more music more introspection more analysis this is mike powers i'm out <laughs>